what is going on guys and welcome back to another episode so today we are going to be targeting some surf perch and we're going to be using the simplest way to catch them which is the carolina rig and if you don't know what a carolina rig is we have our main line right here we have an egg sinker with the bead right in front of that and then attached a barrel swivel right in front of the bead to protect the weight from banging up against the swivel and then on the other end of that swivel we have our leader line which we have six pound leader line and this is about three and a half to four feet long and at the end of the leader line we have our size six hook with a crappie slider and a bead right in front of it I like to use either red or orange in front of that bead to catch these surf perch with the, the Carolina rig method you'll get numbers uh, you know quality fish if you want quality fish it's probably better to use a lure but I'm not saying that you can't catch some quality fish on a little grub to show you guys how easy it is to catch some fish using the Carolina rig I'm gonna go out right now I'm gonna make one cast and catch a fish And this, ladies and gentlemen, we had, we did catch a fish, but we didn't catch the target species. The target species is barred surf perch, but we have some jack smelt mixed in. So hopefully we can avoid these. These are good for to catch some sharks and rays, but other than that, I don't think they're good tasting. But to maybe some of you guys, it might be good tasting. Uh, maybe one day we will do catch and cook with one of these fish, but a lot of people say that they are trash fish now that we got the skunk off we need to catch some bard surf perch hopefully we can weed out those jack smelt but usually when i catch a jack smelt the first fish of the day i'm usually going to get a few more little guy so this is what we're after barred surf perch but this is just a wee little guy probably a eight nine incher there we go there's one It's 
another eight, nine incher. Hey, good thing I'm not losing, using a lure right now. I wouldn't get no action with all this. When using the Carolina rig, you don't need to uh, reel in fast. Unlike when we use lures, we have to reel in a little fast to give it some action. But all you need to do is just reel uh, slow as you feel the tension of the, the weight dragging along the sandy bottom. I'm feeling bites right now. Ah, missed it. And then, you know, sometimes Oh, missed it again. Sometimes you don't even need a reel when the waves are pu pulling back into the, the ocean. And, ooh, that was a big bite. Ooh. Probably a bunch of small guys. Yeah, they gotta be because they, they're biting my tail off. Shoot, I think I dropped my bag of uh, crappie sliders. Dang, and that's the only thing I brought. Darn it. You know, let's try to get some sand crabs. Darn it. Well, that was a botch. I, I lost my bait. I lost my crappie sliders. And then I was trying to look for some sand crabs and I can't find them but they, they're probably a little deeper like I I can't even get to the mussels that are around here because they're underwater right now we're almost at peak high tide so I have like zero access to some fresh bait gosh I wonder when they fell out too but dang it and I thought I might have put stuffed them in my backpack but my backpack's empty so I started thinking on the run back after catching that jack smell that some say if there's jack smelt around, there are potentially some striped bass around. So I don't know if that's true or not, but I don't know. Maybe it's a conspiracy, maybe not. But I would like to know your guys' thoughts down below and your experience. Do you believe if there's jack smelt around, there are striped bass around? I hope you guys enjoyed today's little episode. Thank you all for watching. And until next time, keep fishing on. Peace.